In this video, we will learn why is indifference curve of complementary goods L shaped. Okay, by indifference curve, what we mean an indifference curve is a curve at every point of which utility remains same. Okay, if this is our graph, we have one good on x axis and let us say another good on y axis. Okay, so if this is our indifference curve, okay, on every point on this indifference curve our utility is constant okay let us say this point gives us a utility of 10 so this point should also give us utility 10 that means utility on every point of an indifference curve will be same okay so we can have different combinations of x's and y that gives us same level of utility okay and by perfectly complementary good what we mean uh, a perfect uh, complement is a good that must be uh, consumed with another good we have uh, an example like if we have right shoe and left shoe in this case we say uh, this uh, left right shoe and left shoe forms complementary good okay we cannot consume use a right shoe uh, without the left shoe and same is case uh, we cannot consume left shoe without right shoe okay we have to consume these uh, two uh, goods in this case simultaneously okay so then why does uh, the indifference curve of complementary good uh, is l shaped let's discuss here okay so we have right shoe and left shoe uh, i have made a combination of shoes here that means this is combination a b c d we have here a uh, left shoe that are constant and we have increased the uh, units of right shoe okay and in the second scenario i have kept uh, the right shoe constant that is one and increased the quantity of left shoe okay in this case you can see uh, for combination a to d the quantity of left shoe is constant and the quantity of right shoe is increasing okay so in combination a here one can use left shoe uh, and right shoe to make one pair of shoe and use them Ob obviously if we have a pair of shoe we can use them okay but in this combination the extra uh, here we have one left shoe and two right shoes okay uh, here the extra shoe would be of no use because its importance would be zero or it is utility would be zero unless uh, it is coupled with another left shoe okay and if we want to draw the graph of this we can draw the graph let me uh, draw the graph let us say we have left shoe here let me use another color it is getting blurred here so we have left shoe here we have right shoe okay the point i want to make here is that y is our indifference curve in case of complementary goods l shaped okay so uh, let's take this combination a okay so we have one left shoe one left shoe and one right shoe so we are here then we have one left shoe and two right shoes that means we have one uh, one left shoe and two right shoes so we will be here similarly we have again one left shoe and three right shoe okay one uh, left shoe and three right shoe and for d combination we have one left shoe and four left shoe okay you can see it will be like this okay similarly uh, for this combination in this case we have uh, one right shoe in each of these combinations but we have increased uh, the units of left shoe and the logic is same uh, in combination a one can use a left shoe and a right shoe to make one pair of shoe and use them okay but in combination b the extra left shoe would be of no use because its importance or utility would be zero unless it is being coupled with another right shoe so in this case what will be our 
uh, indifference curve look like so in this case we have an indifference curve let me write here this is our left shoe we have right shoe here okay let us say we have one two three four one two three four for combination a with one right shoe and one left shoe we are here okay then we have one right shoe and two left shoes okay so one right shoe two left shoe that means this point similarly we have one left right shoe and three so one right shoe and three left shoe and obviously this will be next point okay now uh, if we join these two these pointers we will get this line okay now if we combine these two uh, these two graphs what will we get here so let me draw their graphs here so the graph is pretty simple we have units of right shoe here sorry left shoe left shoe and right shoe here right shoe so we have one two three four one two let us say this is three and this is four okay so combining these two what will we get we will get a line uh you know a vertical line and horizontal line and this is the indifference curve indifference curve for complementary complementary goods okay so it is perfectly l shaped okay and why because in this case uh, we have to consume goods in a fixed proportion okay so let us say at this point we are consuming one uh, left shoe and one right shoe let us say it gives us utility of 10 okay at this point we will also get utility of 10 because uh, uh, no matter we have increased the units of right shoe but the units of left shoe are uh, one here or, or again so it will give us same utility as this point okay but if we have let us say another indifference curve let us say we have like this in this case we have increased uh, the units of left shoe and right shoe in a fixed proportion we have doubled the units of uh, left shoe and uh, corresponding to this we have doubled the units of right shoe also okay so this point this indifference uh, curve will give us higher utility okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video why is the indifference curve of perfectly complementary goods l shaped okay uh, thank you